Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a little bit of a look at how you should go about theming Dunst notifications. So those of you who don't know, Dunst is a notification system that is primarily used for window managers. Most window managers, and I'm pretty sure all of them, at least that I've tried, don't come with notification systems at all. It's just not something that they have built in, you know, and it's just the way it is. Uh, most desktop environments have their own uh, desktop or their own notification systems um, in whatever form that may take. GNOME uses their own, Ubuntu uses their own, and so on and so forth. Uh, but if you're using Window Manager, you have to have one that's kind of like a, a an addition, a plugin or something. Uh, in this case, it's I think this is qualified as a daemon. I'm not sure. Uh, but for sure it runs in the background. It's something that you have to add to an auto start file in order to uh, get it to run every time the system starts up. So uh, let's take a look at uh, what this looks like out of the box. So I will inc include in the, sh the video description a link to the documentation so you can see how to set up done out of the box. Basically, you just download it from the repository and then you have to copy the the default configuration file into dot config slash dunst. It's a, it's a dunst RC file. That's what this is right over here on the left hand side. But if you want to what what a notification looks like, so I'm gonna to have to start dunst here. So I'm just gonna start dunst like this, and then I will do this notify send test. Okay, and then you'll notice up here there is a Icon or a notification that says test. That's that's what Dunst does. Now, out of the box, that's really ugly. I mean, it's just blue with a gray border. It's not great. So let's uh, let's close these things. And so, what I want to do today is theme that up a little bit to match my rice. Uh, I use the one dark color scheme, so I'm gonna get that opened up on a different monitor here, and so I can see the the um, the colored codes that I need. Here we go. You can't see this because it's on a different monitor, but just know that I'm looking up a color a color scheme, which I should have done before I started recording. Why would I be prepared? I mean, why? <laughs> uh, anyway, so the this isn't actually the top. This is the top of the, the thing. It's a very. It's not a very long. Uh, configuration file. It's only 431 lines, and most of these are commented out. So you could you could get rid of quite a lot of these. Um, you can make uh, one of the cool things about Dunst is you can go through and theme your uh, notifications to look different based on what not what application you're using. So you can set different you know, priorities and and so on and so forth. Um, I'm not going to cover that in this video, uh, but uh, that is something you can do. There's a lot of stuff that you can do here uh, with uh, the uh, notifications in terms of uh, appearance and stuff. So the, this is the kind of st the stuff that we actually need right here. So if you're going to go through and make different urgencies, you could change uh, that stuff in this section here. But if you're going to just change the general uh, uh, colors and stuff, you need to. We need to go up here to. Uh, where's that? Where is it at? Where is it at? Uh, apparently passed it by. A frame color. Okay, so this is where we start. Start off here. The frame color is going to be the part that goes around. So if we open up this, this clear, notify, send, test, it looks like that. Okay, and the frame color is going to be the part that goes around it. Um, and we'll just close that here. So if we change this, I actually need to put the cursor there, not just highlight it. So change word and we'll change that to uh, let's see here oops 
we would change it to red. The E06. C75. We'll see if that worked. Okay. That did not work. I wonder why that didn't work. Um, wondering if it. Dunst and notify send test. There we go. Had to color it first. As you can see, change the color. Now we need to change the background color. We'll close that. And now we need to change the background color to black, I think, is what I want to do. Um, we'll also change the font here in a minute. But we need to change, find the background color. Where's the background color? You'd think it'd be right up there, right? Separated color, frame, frame width, padding, separator height, notification height, transparency, shrink, indicate hidden geometry. That's going to change the size. Follow mouse. So that just this just changes what monitor it's going to be on. Um, or you can. Always just choose the uh, monitor, so it's always on the same monitor. Where's the background? BG. BG is not there. All right, so apparently the the default is going to be this urgency low one. I bet you. Let's change that and find out. Change word to 282C34. Oops, write that and then uh, kill all, all dunst. Okay, and dun. Oops. And oops. Kill all dunst. This is good. So dunced. Problem is I have it running in the background and then I started it again, so which is dumb. So now we do if we do notify send dash send test. That didn't work. Why didn't that why didn't that work? I'm assuming that that's not actually where it does the background then. Okay, well then where do you do the background color? All right, so let's see here. Every section that isn't one of the above is interpreted as a rule, as a rules to override settings for certain messages. Messages can be matched by at name, uh, and you can override the. So this is basically just telling you you can do. Uh, notifications based on. You know each application. Urgency normal. I bet you it's going to be urgency normal. All right. Change word. 282C34. Okay. This. Kill all. Dunst. And then dunst. And. Okay. And. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Notify. Send. Test. That worked. <laughs> that was, so those urgencies is where you're going to control the background and the foreground. Uh, we, so I want to change the foreground now to another color. And let's see here. So we'll, we'll do it in both of these. Change word A B B to B F. Okay. Change word A B B to B F. Okay. Maybe I'll get lucky and I won't have to kill it. I don't know if that actually changed it or not. 
I think that still looks like it's white to me. Let's see, kill all, dunst, dunst, and. Yeah, that's better. Okay, cool. Now, the question is, how do I get rid of that crappy icon? Uh, I don't think that that icon is there for, like, traditional notifications. It might just be there for te the, the notifis, notif notify send uh, command. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if you can change. Oh, yes, you can. Actually, you can. You can change it to a different icon. Interesting. Okay. Well, that means we need an icon. Um, where would I even go about getting an icon for something like that? I don't know. That may be something I do on my own. Because I'm not going to sit here and force you to watch me browse for an icon. Uh, we'll change the critical... We'll keep the critical urgent... The urgency critical one the same. That, cause that, uh, that appears red. Like, all red. We can actually change that to my red. Change word, uh, EO6... C75. Okay. So that's basically it. Now let's mess around with transparency for a minute, shall we? Because transparency is fun. Um. Here we go. So let's see, range zero to one hundred. Okay, so we have we have a uh, PyCom installed. So let's change this to like twenty. And then, oopsie. Kill all. Dunst. Dunst. And notify test yeah there we go um you can it's you can, probably can't tell from here but that is now a little bit transparent cool so we've rice dunce that's basically all there is to it now the last thing i want to do is change the font uh, let's let's see where where was that font thing uh, we're getting close here frame color separated color Sort idle threshold monospace. Here we go. Let's do this. Change word hack nerd font. And we're going to change this to 12. Okay, and uh, W, we'll write that and go back here and control C and kill all. All. Dunst. Dunst. And. Okay, notify send test. Yep, there we go. Awesome, sweet. So, and that is very briefly how you theme dunce notifications. It's really not that hard because the the configuration file is very well laid out. All you gotta do is read the instructions, which I didn't do because pff, instructions. Seriously, <laughs> don't read the instructions, man. He just <laughs> that that's a waste of time. <laughs> Watch a video instead. Um. Anyways, that is it for us this time. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to watch more, uh. Linux and FOSS related and how to videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon because we publish videos seven days a week. We also do a podcast every Tuesday and it's awesome. You definitely don't want to miss it. So hit the subscribe button. You can also support us on Patreon if you're monetarily enabled by going to patreon.com slash Linuxcast. We do appreciate anywhere you support the channel, even if it's just by hitting the subscribe button. We do, like I said, I do really appreciate it. I always say we. I don't know why I always say we. I can't help it. I've always done it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.